Welcome to 72 Update Channel. The defense of the Donbas by the armed forces of Ukraine continues. The Russian army, which has surrounded the region, benefits from all kinds of infrastructure in the region that it can use to its advantage. One of the most important of these is Melitopol Airport. The city of Melitopol, which was occupied right after the fall of Kherson, has been under Russian occupation for a very long time and the airport in the region continues to serve the Russian army. A satellite image released on May 12 shows at least seven Russian planes still at the airbase. Even if the airbase is located deep in the Russian-occupied zone, it is not correct to say that Russian planes are safe there. Because at the end of March, the Ukrainian armed forces had successfully destroyed several Russian helicopters at the Melitopol airbase, and after this incident, the planes of the Russian army had to leave the airbase in a short time. It has been announced that this base is currently one of the critical areas for the Mariupol bombardment and heavy traffic is observed in the region in order to ensure air dominance in the region. In eastern Ukraine, satellite imagery and first-hand testimony provided a more complete picture of the multiple and disastrous efforts by Russian forces to cross the Siversky Donets River last week. The Russians may have suffered heavy losses trying to cross the river earlier this week and may have lost as many as 70 armored vehicles and other equipment. Their aim was to attempt to encircle the Ukrainian defenses in the Luhansk region, but failed spectacularly.